Hello students, welcome to part 7 of how to program the video game Cheese Chase using Scratch 2.0. Now at this point you've built a very very complicated game but there's always more that you can do. There's so many varieties of things that you can do. For example, you can add sounds. Okay, You can add sounds to for when the ghost appears or when the, when the game ends or when you get a high score. So think about sounds. Okay. All right, let's talk about timings, okay? You can make the beetles move slower to make the game a little bit easier. You can make the ghost appear for a shorter amount of time. If the game is too difficult, then you need to program it to be a little bit easier. On the other hand, if the game is too easy, you can speed up the, um, the beetles. You can have the ghost appear for a longer time instead of a shorter time, okay? All right, let me show you something with vanishing cheese. You can have the cheese appear for only a limited amount of time in each spot. So if I go to the cheese uh, script here, the cheese sprite, I can add one more script here. I'll go to events. I'll go to when the green flag is clicked. Go to the control um, blocks. I'll go to forever. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait 10 seconds. Okay. And then I'm going to go to, let's go to the motion, and I'm going to go to X, Y, and then I'm going to pick random values. Okay, So pick random in here, and I'm going to pick random in here, and for the X, Y values, for the X value, I'm going to choose negative 220 to positive 220 for the X values. And for the Y values, I'm going to choose anywhere between negative 160 and positive 160. So what this does is the cheese will only appear at a certain location for 10 seconds, which means you as the mouse, Mimi the mouse, has to get to that cheese within 10 seconds or else it will disappear and uh, go to a new spot. Okay. Another thing you can do is you can make the game end if Mimi ever touches the wall. So in order to do that, you would have to add a script to the maze sprite to send the message game over if she touches the maze. So you can try that as well. There are a lot of different variations you can make. I want you to work hard on taking this basic game and manipulating it and changing it so that it looks a little bit different. Everyone's game at this point, when it's finished, should look a little bit different. So please take some time to create your own modifications and tweaks. Then, when you've made the game significantly yours, call Mr. Ueda over to show him the changes that you've made. Okay, have fun. Thanks for watching. This concludes the video game project Cheese Chase. Bye.